there. I'm Christine Dunbar from speechmodification.com and this is my Smart American Accent Training. Welcome to our Word of the Day series where I've been taking your requests for words you'd like help to pronounce in American English. Today's request was for the word university. This is a useful word for many of you, I'm sure. So let's break it down, look at the syllable stress and the sounds in this word to help you pronounce it correctly and easily in your everyday speech. So the word university has third syllable stress. The ver syllable is long and has the clear vowel. The other syllables are shorter and reduced. We do have secondary stress on this first syllable, which you can see with the little line uh, in the lower below the word uh, before the stress syllable. And looking at the letters U, uh, unlike some words that begin with UN, like unlike, where the un is a um, prefix in university, our letter U says the U sound. So there's a glide Y yeah, plus the U sound, U, U, just like in the word U. So um, letter I is going to be a schwa, sounds like an uh sound, or you may say that also as an I sound, uni, una. It doesn't matter too much as long as you're very short and reduced on that um, second syllable. So una or uni. Uh, university. Um, we have our ver that has our tight back American R sound. Um, so the letters ER do a stressed er in this word. You may want to build from that R if that's the challenging part of this word for you. Trying er, ver, versity, university. It's also good to start from the stressed syllable. It helps you get the rhythm of the word correct. Um, then we have uh, in the the letters SI say again the lax I sound, city, just like in the word city. And also like in the word city, we use a flap T here, which sounds just a little bit more like a light D. I don't want to be strong Sid D with a strong D. I just lift up, my voice is on, and then I release city, city. Letter Y says the E sound, tense E, uh, so that is something to watch out for at the end of a word. When you have that tense sound, don't let it become sida or uh, sida with a lax vowel or unreduced vowel. You still need that tense e without stressing it. City, university. Uh, once I can say university correctly, I do want to bring, uh, bring some practice into some short phrases so it happens naturally and easily for me in the way I would want to use it when I'm really speaking. Um, I attended the university many years ago. My graduate degree is from the University of Washington. Um, I'm hoping to meet some students at the university. Okay, thanks so much for that request. If you have a request you'd like to see as part of our Word of the Day series, feel free to leave that in the comments for this video or any of my videos, and I'll add it to the list. If you'd like to join the channel as a member, it's a way you can support the channel and your requests will be taken within a week. I'll cover them for you each Sunday in our members only class. If you have a question that can't wait and you don't want to join as a channel member, you can come on Friday to our live class, ask your question in the chat, and I'll answer it for you live. That's every Friday at 12 o'clock Seattle time, 3 o'clock Eastern time. Uh, we also have a Word of the Day free online course on speechmodification.com. It's absolutely free, and it has these videos as well as definitions for the words, so you can work on your vocabulary as well as your pronunciation. Check out our other online courses. They're either free or all are under $2 on speechmodification.com. I'm Christine Dunbar from speechmodification.com. Remember, if you want to sound like a native speaker, you can do it. Speechmodification.com. Bye, everyone. Hope to see you again tomorrow.